Hello and welcome to the Gadgets and Gizmo show with me Siddharth Sharma on headlines today. We are in the city of Las Vegas. Las Vegas, the gambling capital of the world, where fortune favors the brave. But with some luck, of course. And every year in January, this sin city turns into a geek's paradise. As the big guns of consumer technology gather around under the neon lights for the Consumer Electronic Show. We are here for the Consumer Electronic Show 2014. On this episode, we'll be getting you all the lowdown on what all new gadgets and gizmos are lined up for you in 2014. Now we are on our way to the convention center in Las Vegas where CES 2014 is happening. Consumer Electronics Show for the past 40 years has been the proving ground for innovators and breakthrough technologies. Just to give you an idea of what the 2014 Consumer Electronics Show is all about, there are about 3,200 exhibitors, 1,52,000 participants from over 150 countries. When it comes to technology, it just can't get bigger than this. And then there is the Las Vegas Convention Center, which is one of the largest convention centers in the world with 32 lakh square feet of space. So it houses all the shiny gadgets that you desire with ease. All right, we're finally here at the Consumer Electronics Show 2014, where from 4K televisions to bendable displays, they have it all. They have the entire lineup for you that's gonna come your way in 2014. So get set for a ride of your lifetime as I take you through the highlights of the Consumer Electronics Show 2014. Come with me. Now with thousands of visitors and lakhs of attendees, it's hard to pick where to start from. And we thought, let's just bet with the reliable and start at Samsung. So we are here on day one at CES 2014 and we are at the Samsung booth. So let's see what they've lined up for us in 2014. Come with me. And boy, Samsung was just playing it big at the show. They came up with the world's largest curved UHD TV that had a 105 inch screen and a 21 is to 9 aspect ratio with 5120 by 2160 screen resolution. Now if you put that thing in your living room, there's definitely no need for lounge lighting. Barring this big boy, when it comes to televisions, Samsung also launched the U9000 series of curved UHD TVs. They had slim bezels and some panache to them. The U9000 series is completed by 65-inch and 55-inch variant and they will soon be on their way to India with a price tag of Rs 1.5 lakh upwards. So when it comes to home entertainment, Samsung really set the ball rolling when it comes to curved 4K televisions in 2014. But wait, all was not so well with them. Samsung has led the TV industry for eight years now. Now sure, before the actual CES kicks off, every company has a pre-show conference. For Samsung though, they would just like to forget this one. Um, I create visual worlds that are so beyond every, everyone's normal life experience. Michael Bay, the famous Hollywood director of Transformers fame, walked in to talk about the curved 4K experience. But because of a teleprompter goof up, embarrassingly walked away as he was clueless on what to say. The type is all off, sorry, but I'll just wing this. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we are debuting a new transforming technology that we call Bendable TV. They just took out a transformer out of their hat and what a beauty it was. Say hello to Samsung's bendable OLED TV. Now this television is epic just because the screen bends. 
It's a flat screen television to start with and if you want to change your cinematic viewing experience, this screen just bends. So that is something which is really epic that Samsung has done with the displays over there. Sure, it bends and all, but will it bend it like Beckham? Only time will tell. And yes, when it finally lands here in India, do make sure that your pockets run deep. Okay, so the curved glass displays were not the only things that Samsung came out with. They also came out with a couple of tablets. So I've got one with me over here. It's the new Samsung Note Pro. It's got a 12.2 inch display up front, which is huge. Kind of makes me think that that was the only screen size that was not used by any company. So Samsung came up with this, but they've got a very good reasoning for that. They've come up with this magazine UX on the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro. And what they say is that the size of a regular magazine is somewhere about 12.2 inches. So that's why the screen size. Well, it's a beautiful looking screen, no doubt about that. Samsung Note Pro will also be accompanied by the Tab Pro variants, which will sport a 10.1 inch and a 8.4 inch WQXGA screen. They will run on Google's latest Android 4.4 KitKat operating system, and Samsung Galaxy Note Pro and Tab Pro will be powered by an Exynos 5 Octa processor for Wi Fi and 3G versions and a Snapdragon 800 2.3 GHz for the LTE editions. So what you can do with it is you can customize screens. Now you can make about four screens out of it. You get selected apps. All you have to do is just drag them from the side and there you go. So then you get like two split screens and then again I'll choose uh, say my email and I get three screens and maybe a Samsung chat on which no one uses in India actually. So there it is. You can now split the entire screen into four and it takes multitasking to a different level altogether and of course you can resize and make a screen prominent. So definitely things look very interesting for Samsung and of course we'll be waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro to come to India. And Prices when they eventually launch will range from $400 to $900. Well, that was a lot from the house of Samsung. It's time to move on now. All right, if you thought that Samsung was the only player at the Consumer Electronics Show coming up with crazy display technology, guess again, Sony is also here. So come, let's find out what they've been up to. So when it came to bringing the 4K experience at your home, Sony was on the money. They had the entire range from 4K HD TVs to 4K camcorders to even 4K projectors. But the one that was interesting was what Sony calls is the reference standard for 4K. And it is just breathtaking. Where everyone at CES was trying to showcase the curved 4K technology with immersive experience and pseudo 3D effects, Sony just kept it simple with this one. So here I have the reference standard 4K TV by Sony and it's got some of the cool features, especially it's got an extended uh, dynamic range pro on it. It's basically for the brightness levels onto the television screen. Mind you, it's not an OLED television, it's an LED 4K television. And it's also got Sony's styliness display technology which basically brings about all those dynamic colors onto it. It has the latest 4K X Reality Pro engine running on it for that fine detail. Now looking at that fine detail onto an LED TV, who needs an OLED television anyways? And boy, it was huge and completely immersive and anyone can fall in love at first sight with this one. So curves always don't appeal that much. And then our eyes fell at something that looked like a smartphone and not a phablet that everyone is trying to pass around. 
they came up with the Sony Xperia Z1 Compact as well. It's got a nice 4.3 inch screen up front. It's got a very nice 20.7 megapixel camera at the back, which does pretty amazing low light photography. They've got some booth at which we tested it as well. It's also got a quad core processor running on it. And of course, multitasking and everything looks pretty smooth on it. For sure, this is going to be one of the global devices that Sony is going to come out with. We'll be surely looking forward to the new Sony Xperia Z1 Compact. And the Xperia Z1 Compact, sure, when it launches, can be a success in India, only if Sony can keep the pricing right. And we took off from there as well. All right, we're at the LG booth finally. So let's go find out what they're launching. LG added a pinch of 3D into its curved 4K madness and boy did people gather around to see that huge screen. So CES 2014 has been mostly about 4K televisions and bigger and bigger screens. And when you enter the LG booth at the CES over here, it's got the biggest screen and 4K resolution coupled with 3D. Well, the rest was just the same. So much of curves and so much of 4K and it made me wonder, is India ready? And the answer to that question is no. We are still in an HD world, but TVs with 4K capabilities are all set to launch. So we should be seeing 4K content in India very soon. So enough of all the tablet action. It's time to see some cameras at CES 2014. Okay, now we've come at the Nikon stall at the CES 2014, where Nikon unveiled their first waterproof, shockproof and freeze-proof camera, the Nikon AW1. Nikon AW1 is a mirrorless interchangeable camera that has effective pixels of 14.2 megapixels. This camera comes with black, white and silver color options and what is amazing about this camera is that it is the most sturdy camera that you would be able to buy in a budget and it can shoot underwater. All right, Samsung came up with the Samsung Galaxy camera last year, the camera that ran Android on it. And this at the CES 2014 is the new Samsung Galaxy camera too. Now the fun part about this camera is that it now runs on the latest Android operating systems. It's got the new generation 1.6 gigahertz quad core uh, processor running on it. Also, what the camera does is, as soon as you fire up an app, the camera app, the shutter comes out. It's got a brilliant 16.3 megapixel CMOS sensor on it, and it's got an optical zoom of 21x. So this is one camera that we'll be really looking forward to when it comes to India and we'll definitely get you a review on Gadgets and Gizmo show of course. But that when it comes to India. For the time being our eyes fell on the Canon Vixia Mini XHD. This allows you to record full HD videos to a removable SD card in MPEG-4, 30p and 24p or AVC HD in 60i. The camera features a f2.8 fisheye lens, a 12.8 megapixel high sensitivity with Canon Digic DV4 image processor and linear PCM audio recording. A built-in stereo microphone, audio scene select and built-in Wi-Fi are also included and the prices will start at $400. All right, it's time for a very short break on the show, but don't go anywhere because there's a lot more CES 2014 action coming your way on the other side. Welcome back, you're watching the Gadgets and Gizmo show with me Siddharth Sharma and no, we're not in Paris, we're still in the city of Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show 2014. So let's dive straight into the action.
Now CES is a playing ground for consumer tech companies. Some come to showcase their future innovations and some to test the waters of what might trend in the year. But there is no dearth of entertainment ever. And there were some really cool out of the box technologies that were showcased here. So let's take a look at them. Now if you are an Apple lover, I love came out with something called a time shaker. A unique alarm clock that pairs well with your iPhone. This unique shaker vibrates to wake up heavy sleepers and even hearing impaired. It has a built-in FM radio and offers multiple alarm options. This will be available at a price tag of $100 for your iDevices. And then there was the Colibri toothbrush. It's your toothbrush that connects to your smartphone via Bluetooth and helps you analyze your brushing habits. Just download the free app and get data about how you brushed. Data automatically synchronizes to your smartphone telling you whether you brushed long enough and reached the hard to reach but important parts of your teeth and gums. What we thought they should have added was something more to do like a button to check your Facebook while brushing. Okay, but this entire fascination with wearable tech was just getting bigger. In fact, Kuni Suzuki, president and chief executive of Sony Mobile said that what they've come out with is the smallest gadget Sony has ever built. Sony claims to potentially tap the wearable trend with its cool new core body sensor and lifelong Android app. It can be worn inside a small wristband or some other accessory. It then is paired via Bluetooth to smartphones to record what will you do during the day, for instance, how many steps you take, how many hours you sleep, what photos you've taken and what music you were listening to. Another interesting thing at CES 2014 was the number of car companies that came to showcase the technology they had to offer. From BMW with the i3 to Ford with their entire 2014 range, to Corvettes and even one in just nine, the Lamborghini Venino Roadster was on display. But what caught our eye was Audi, simply because it's practical. Now, Consumer Electronics Show sees many new innovations and one innovation that German automakers Audi came up with was parking through your smartphone. Let's take a look. Audi has been a driving force in the area of driver assistance systems. Lane assist, night vision assist, parking assist, they have it all. And what they were showcasing at CES 2014 was how you can park in tight corners without driving yourself. Narrow parking spaces or garages make it difficult for a driver to get in and out of the car. So the piloted driving from Audi makes your car do that for you with just the help of a remote key fob or your smartphone and drivers would be able to park their cars while standing outside it in front of the garage or a narrow parking space. All the driver has to do is get out and initiate the parking sequence. Upon reaching the parked position, the car shuts off the engine and locks the door. The driver receives a confirmation message at the end of the process. Push a button and your car will retrieve itself for you from the parking space. Piloted parking utilizes the same system of sensors as traffic jam systems. Information is also obtained by processing images from the four 360-degree cameras that monitor the surrounding. This additional physical measurement method complements the ultrasonic sensor system. 
and all this is done with the help of a CPU nicely placed in the boot of the car. And Audi says that this entire system is all set for production and might just be seen in higher Audi variants this year. So from UHD TVs to wearables, tablets, smartphones, cars, cameras and plenty more shiny gizmos, CES 2014 had it all. And boy, it's definitely going to be a super awesome year for technology. Alright, the Consumer Electronics Show 2014 has now come to an end. And so has our journey. And what better way to end it than near the fountains of the famous Bellagio in Las Vegas. If you have any comments, queries or suggestions, tweet us at HLTGNG Show. You can also email us on htgg at archstuck.com. But before we leave you on this special presentation of CES 2014 of the Gadgets and Gizmos Show, here's a look at the guilty city of Las Vegas. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Headlines Today.